So guys, today I want to talk to you about my DIY archery target. Uh, something you can do uh, with some basic uh, building skills, just a little bit of lumber and uh, some supplies that you may have around the house and just uh, stop at the Quick Family Farm at home. So stay tuned, we'll go through those steps. So right now I'm just going to start off by removing uh, this outer trim piece that kind of holds the our cover on. So we have this cover here. Basically the front and back are made of the same material and basically what this is is a grain bag that I've gotten from Family Farm and Home. Uh, you can pick these things up for about a buck and basically I will just cut this side and cut the bottom, spread this out and uh, I'm going to end up, I'm going to cut this old one off just so you can kind of see uh, kind of what's inside. Uh, basically we've made a frame. Uh, this one in particular is 3 foot by 3 foot, 12 inches deep. Uh, made a frame, sheeted it with just some OSB that I had laying around and uh, end up making a stand. Some of the stuff you don't need, you don't need this roof. Uh, this roof would just kind of to make sure everything's staying dry as I can. Uh, what I have done is I have made this little access port so you can take this access port off uh, to, to work on the stuffing. Essentially this stuffing is just old rags, old t-shirts uh, that you might have been ready to donate to the Salvation Army or to Goodwill. Uh, but basically save those rags, sheets, quilts, stuff like that. You don't want stuff with zippers and buttons. You don't want your arrows to be hitting those things. So um, that's kind of what we've got in here. Um, but I'll cut that apart a little bit just so we can see. Um, there's a few layers that I already have on this, but I shoot this thing uh, a lot. I put a lot of arrows in already this season, but it's a quick $1 bag, uh, so no big deal to redo it. Love to shoot pop cans and just basic targets all over this thing, so I'm just going to go through the process of uh, replacing that. So, obviously you can see just a big old pile of rags. Uh, at one point during the, the early part of the season, I had a big hole kind of similar to what I had just now, and birds were flying in there stealing all this stuff. Um, got parts of pop cans that I've shot into it in here as well. But it uh, works great. I've been using it for my compound bow. Also used it for um, my crossbow. Uh, no issues with that, was able to stop a crossbow. But with this access hole on the top, allows you to re kind of redo the stuffing and the filling in here. Uh, but I'm just going to cut this up, we'll put a new, uh, new face on it. It's got a staple gun with some half inch screws. Uh, what you can't see right here is there is a lip that goes all the way around this edge. Uh, it's about a one inch, inch and a half lip. Let's me go ahead and staple this target all down. Once I get close to the bottom, I'll stop. Same thing here, I actually didn't mean to fill this last staple in. There it is. So we'll just go ahead and cut a little on the outside of this. And then we'll just fold this over. So we get a nice tight seam. And then we're just going to screw our covers back on. That just gives us like an added layer to sandwich this thing in. Is I have this lid on here and like I said it's not necessary but it just makes sure that I keep as much rain off the top if I can. Obviously I've got a whole bunch of rags in here basically that just could get soaked. So. Uh, what I am going to do though is I'm going to pull this off because I want to uh, kind of rearrange those rags that are on the 
in the middle just because they're uh, obviously hit the most. taking the top off I'm kind of redoing uh, the rags inside just to get a little bit more here in the center where I obviously do a lot of the hitting uh, but it's been storming here for a while and I tell you what these rags are completely dry uh, which I'm pretty impressed with so I just kind of restuff in the center so I shoot typically in my yard I'm shooting uh, 20 30 Really, I don't even shoot 20 much anymore, but shooting really a 30, trying to get uh, better at shooting longer distances. So I've been shooting 30, uh, sometimes 40, and even 50 yards. I can get 50 yards if I could go stand out in the street, but I have a hard time seeing where my arrows are at. So I love to shoot pop cans. Uh, they're real light, uh, don't do any damage to the arrows, and they're just kind of fun. You, you know when you hit one. So what I've done is I just have a screw couple screws here and basically it's a huge twisty tie that I had from something I don't know and what I like to do is I like to just hang that up and then I like to hang pop cans on here gives me a fun target to shoot at uh, sometimes I'll hang even they have those mini cans now I'll hang a mini can on here uh, but it also this this target is plenty big enough I can fit other targets on here so a lot of times I'll have a pop can over here and then uh, another type of target whether it's like a, a squirrel or something like that sitting over here uh, but anyway great project uh, like I said it's held up really well cheap uh, it obviously doesn't handle broad broadheads though uh, that is the downfall so I still have a couple targets that I use for shooting broadheads uh, but this is a great target that you can do yourself uh, usually with clothes you're going to donate or throw away anyway so we've got our new cover on. Uh, I got a new pop can hung up. I love to shoot a pop cans. Uh, I can <clears throat> see a pop can at 30, 40, 50 yards. Uh, so a pop can's really nice. It's cheap. Uh, you can hear if you hit. So I, I kind of enjoy it. Uh, so I have a screw that I hang up top with a long twist tie that hangs from there. Downside is that on a windy day, yes, this thing can move a bit, but get and kind of roll with the punches but this thing's big enough at three by three leaves me plenty of space for other targets and stuff sometimes I'll hang two different cans and, and shoot a bunch of arrows that way I'm not aiming all at the same target so hopefully you guys have found this useful let's get to shooting it so I do have to mention uh, arrows are obviously really easy to pull out it's not like a morel target or a thing that's foam it's actually harder to pull out of the pop can, but I mean, very little effort to get these things out. However, it does not give you the same results as one of those foam targets if you are using that as a way of tuning your bow. Sometimes you will hit thicker fabric, causing the arrow to lean, exaggerated like this, but you're not going to get be able to read your shots the way you would with a foam target. But, very easy to pull out. Something easy for your kids to be able to use. That's another good side to this, is that kids can pull their own arrows not having to worry about them uh, slipping or getting any slivers or anything off of uh, some nicked up arrows but pull out of here really easy so please like subscribe share the video thanks